If you have an email list but you aren't taking advantage of email autoresponders, you are missing out. Autoresponders are automated emails that you can set up in advance. They can save you a lot of time with your mailing list because you can prepare most of your emails ahead of time and use autoresponders to send them out automatically to your audience. This way, your email list does all the work for you, even while you are sleeping or on vacation. Today, I'm going to walk you through creating autoresponders in MailChimp and the different options that you have. MailChimp is a free service, however, autoresponders are a feature that is only available on paid accounts. You will have to either go on a monthly plan, or if your list is small, you can also use the pay-as-you-go plan. First of all, if you are using autoresponders to send your own welcome email, then you will have to turn off MailChimp's welcome email that they send out. Otherwise, your subscribers will get two welcome emails, which can be annoying. You can do this in your list settings. To create your autoresponder, go to Autoresponders and Create Autoresponder. Select the list you want to send to. You most often will leave this on Send to Entire Segment, but you can also create a new segment if you need to. You can create segments based on the user's language or location, their sign-up source, the date they registered, and whether or not they opened or clicked on certain emails. It first asks you for the action that will trigger the autoresponder. Most of the time, you will leave this at subscription to list. Then you can set how long after subscription you want the email to go out. A welcome email should be sent within the hour of subscription. Then, if you want to send weekly emails after that, you can set the next one to be 7 days after subscription, then 14 days after, then 21, and so on. The one I'm going to set up now will go out three days after subscription. Next, you'll determine what time you want the email to send and which days of the week. If you don't want to disturb your subscribers on the weekend, just uncheck those days. A neat trick that I learned from Pat Flynn is that you can set your autoresponders to only send on certain days. So for example, you can choose to have autoresponders only send on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That way, you know that if you ever want to send a broadcast email out, you know you can send it on a Tuesday or a Thursday. This makes sure that your subscribers never receive two emails from you on the same day. Next, we'll fill in some settings for the email, including the name and subject. I always turn on Google Analytics campaign tracking so you can see which traffic is coming to your site from your emails. Then we'll select the template and fill in the content. As this is a sample retail store, I've provided two links for the user, one to women's clothing and one to men's. You'll see why I did this when I set up the next email. Then we'll finish the campaign and start the autoresponder. The next autoresponder we'll send out will be targeted based on the user's choice of link in the previous email. You can see we have the option to send the email after the user clicks on a specific link in a previous email. This autoresponder will only be sent to people who clicked on the women's clothing link in the previous email, and it features the most popular women's items on the site. There is no point for a retail store to send emails about men's clothing if the subscriber is a woman and vice versa. This way you can better target your emails based on your audience's interests. The more autoresponders you set up for your list, the less work you will have to do to keep creating emails to send out. Set up as many as you can in advance before you start your list and then make sure to regularly add more or you will run out of emails to send to your subscribers. You can also use autoresponders to reward subscribers who have been on your list for a certain amount of time. For example, you can set up an autoresponder that goes out 6 months after a user subscribes with a message saying, here's a coupon to thank you for being a subscriber for 6 months. Be creative and think of how you can use autoresponders to better connect with your audience. So that covers the basics of setting up autoresponders in MailChimp. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more email marketing videos at thesocialhowto.com.